In this video, we'll figure out which element on the periodic table has the electron configuration 1s1. So there are two ways we can do this. So first, we could just count the electrons up. There is only one electron for this element. Because all of the elements on the periodic table are neutral, all we have to do is find out which element on the periodic table has one electron. If it's neutral, electrons and protons will be the same. So I'm just looking for atomic number one, which is right here. Atomic number one means it has one proton. Since it's neutral, it'll also have just one electron. So the electron configuration 1s1, that's hydrogen. There's another way we could do this as well. We could look at the periodic table divided up into orbital blocks. So here we have the s block. And it starts out with all these elements in group 1, they'll end in S1. The elements here, S2. When we get over to D, D holds up to 10 electrons. So we'll have D1, 2, 3, all the way up to D10. And then in the P block, all of the elements will end with P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. P holds up to 6. So we're looking for the element here on the periodic table that ends in 1S1. And that's right here this hydrogen right here, 1s1. So let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in. So we get the same answer. 1s1, that's hydrogen, has one proton. Since it's neutral, it has one electron as well in its configuration 1s1. Note that hydrogen is kind of interesting. It'll often lose this one electron. And when it does, it just becomes 1s0. And we write that as H+. It's the hydrogen ion, and it's just a proton. But in this video, we're looking at 1s1 on the periodic table, which is neutral hydrogen, just H. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.